Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Electronic West Benefit and the Taurai Mirimi. Right, uh, this is the second method of uh, making an inverter, and this is what they call the modified square wave inverter, or some people would want to call it modified sine wave inverter. Well, it's not a sine wave, it is a square wave. And uh, this one is using uh, an IC. Instead of uh, uh, using a, a, a 3524 IC that is usually uh, found in mm, many small inverters, I've actually used the mm, 3526. Uh, you can get it under UC3526 or LM. Ah, sorry, or oh, SG3526. Uh, right, uh, this is an 18 pin uh, IC and uh, it is actually a very good integrated circuit uh, because it uh, has a frequency uh, range from 1 hertz to 400 kilohertz. Uh, uh, the circuit is basically, well, simple and uh, you can actually uh, get uh, uh, much on the internet and uh, uh, from the data sheet of the IC but before then uh, as usual we go to our note uh, which is uh, very important uh, because uh, I always try to stress this and uh, of course it's electronic waste benefit and Yes, the warning, please, electricity is dangerous, it can kill, it can cause fires. So uh, I hope that uh, you are experienced in working with electricity and if you are not, please get someone who is. And uh, prior knowledge to uh, the workings of electronics is uh, expected for you to do these projects and please keep all this uh, working and equipment out of reach of children. Uh, for obvious reasons, meaning mom age that I expect people to actually start doing this uh, project is 10 years and above and uh, this is just a share and it's not a, les a lesson, it's just description of how I've done my circuits and uh, much of them <laughs> actually I'm using them at home. Uh, the of stuff is Please use as much electronic waste to recycle electronic uh, waste as much as possible. And uh, please, there is always many ways of doing this. You can correct if uh, there are mistakes, uh, and uh, always, of course, there are, all, there are mistakes. Uh, adapt it to your needs, modify, you can improve it, and uh, you can use this for training, you can use it at home for your benefit, you can use it um, to produce products. Uh, equipment required addition to what you already have is uh, well power supply of course po components uh, test boards which are very boards and uh, soldering iron and solder wire of course always the mount meter of course and uh, please uh, this requires your time patience passion and dedication perseverance as well and and f any feedback please uh, you can actually write an, an email to me, tauraimirimi.gmail.com. Thank you. Uh, let's go on and to our circuit. Uh, SG 3526 uh, or UC 3526, uh, beautiful IC. And uh, much of it is uh, data sheet. The only difference that you find with many uh, uh, designs is that I've used the, the compass. Uh, uh, compensation uh, uh, pin for uh, regulation, uh, the pin number three here. Uh, normally you would use the error amplifier uh, pin for uh, regulation, that is feedback. The rest of the other parts are similar to every design, especially the 3524. So here what I've done is on the compensation uh, pin is I've actually used an LDR uh, as a variable resistor f 
for the feedback. The feedback is a transformer, a 12 volt or 15 volt uh, secondary uh, small transformer. Uh, please note, this is not the main transformer. This is the feedback transformer. We have our bigger uh, transformer, uh, which is driven by the power module. And that I do not uh, try to explain here because there is many ways of doing it and there are various uh, sites with that you can actually just uh, get that design and actually uh, run it with this size uh, integrated circuit I've used paintbrush uh, I've not really drawn using Proteus or any other schematic drawing uh, software this is paintbrush it's done by paintbrush uh, well, I do that sometimes. I can even draw the <laughs> free end and share it with you. I think it is uh, clear as much as possible. So you have a transformer here, bridge, uh, a small thing capacitor, Zena is uh, your regulating uh, component, and then you have your LED. You can use red or white, just like uh, my. Uh, inverter sine wave inverter circuits LDR here a uh, variable resistor uh, which actually goes to uh, ground here so if you have your output increasing here this voltage will increase and then if you have more light here more light here less resistance here so less resistance means less voltage here and then if you get the data sheet of this I see you will find that it, uh, you have uh, this error amplifier uh, output on pin number 3 and then you have your uh, compensation I see here on, on t no. I think uh, the rest is uh, actually already clear uh, you can use your current uh, uh, regulation circuit here if you want but this uh, I've actually just grounded the current circuit and it is working as the actually inverter that I'm using now and it's actually driving a, a small deep freeze uh, with the, uh, a push pull a, a transformer it's actually a a torrid transformer uh, about 800 watts that I have taken from uh, an inverter uh, that was uh, defect. So uh, it, that push pull uh, transformer uh, is actually driven by four MOSFETs uh, two one side, the other side two. We, uh, the MOSFETs are IRFP064, and I have added. Uh, some uh, extra uh, MOSFETs uh, just to increase a little bit of power so uh, this circuit works and uh, you can actually uh, use it uh, to actually drive uh, much of the load so yeah I've just uh, <laughs> well, trying to be funny here drawing the components and then I use them whenever I try to modify them. So this is a paintbrush uh, circuit. So yeah, uh, I think uh, the rest is similar to the SG3524 circuit. Your timing uh, RSC here. And then uh, what else? Your outputs are here. Uh, this uh, setup here, uh, if you refer to uh, my uh, sine wave inverter uh, upload, and also if you check how you can do this uh, setup here, how to you can actually uh, produce this uh, uh, circuit here, check my. Uh, uh solar charge controller using uh, the what was it I uh, think the PIX 16F uh, H uh, PIX 16F 
what uh, I'm forgetting now <laughs> but check my 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 my, my uploads uh, you can see how you can actually produce this uh, 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 setup here which is actually some call some some commercially you can get it as uh, what is called a Vactro it's just an L LED and LDR uh, more light here less resistance uh, that's it uh, simple as simple as that but this LDR must actually be uh, out of uh, the ambient light uh, so it should actually be in opaque uh, setup but it's simple you can do it uh, that's all uh, I think uh, for this circuit that's all right uh, if you can't get this uh, uh, integrated circuit uh, uh, to actually produce this uh, uh, driver for inverter I have done another design uh, uh, this one this is also a, a driver for modified square wave inverter uh, it's actually a signal generator it's using a triangle uh, generator uh, you can try the sine wave but uh, many ways of actually producing a triangle uh, wave here uh, and then from the triangle wave uh, you have a buffer circuit similar to the sine wave uh, uh, circuit that I have done and uh, same feedback transformer small transformer bridge and then you're adjusting a network of resistors and then your LED white or red LDR buffer again and then now the only uh, design that is critical here is here that uh, it's just some explaining I've used a, 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 a diode to actually split this signal so that you have actually an odd a negative going and a positive going uh, signal. How that that works? Let me show you. Um, you are comparing a, a, a triangle wave uh, this way, right? On the top uh, comparator LM393, uh, you have your your inverting input clamped at one diode volt above this one. So you have one diode volt above that one. So this is that part here, uh, that part here from this uh, half voltage because you have actually divided the supply by half. So this is the half line, 0 0.5 supply. Uh, and then you clamp the top comparator on the inverting input by one diode volt up. Uh, obviously the bottom one is one diode voltage less. So, what happens is this signal is the one that you are actually uh, regulating the triangle wave. You are actually regulating it's at one time this uh, level, and then the other time it actually is higher up to the supply voltage. Uh, I've used split supplies so for 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 the the buffers. So you have this signal going. Uh, uh, up to uh, with 14 volts it goes up to 7 volts peak uh, uh, so yeah you actually uh, have a region that's the tired region this part here this voltage here is when there is no pulse at all this is the zero for the uh, output uh, region, that diode region, the from 0 0.6 to uh, 0 0.6 negative to 0 0.6 positive, which is about 1.2 volts. There's no pulse uh, that region here. There's no pulse, so the pulses are actually there. So what happens is, if this is getting higher, you have a a wider pulse meaning that the duty cycle is increasing when it gets uh, smaller in level the duty cycle is reducing meaning the pulse is getting smaller so you are actually regulating the level of this triangle wave thereby actually 
producing a pulse width modulated wave and also here down uh, you is the same operation as the top one only that this is the other signal so because you need uh, the two signals to actually drive uh, as a push pull uh, signal so this pulse comes and then the next pulse is the negative going pulse which is also a uh, pulse width modulated uh, so when you have a higher voltage here it means the pulse is bigger higher voltage here the pulse is bigger because on the bottom uh, comparator you see the 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 the, the, is the triangle is coming to the uh, inverting input on the top the triangle is coming to the non-inverting input so i think the electronics <laughs> uh, is actually uh, simple and straightforward here if you don't please get someone to actually explain that and this is how you actually get your 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 your, your your signal, your uh, modified pass with modulated uh, signal or modified square wave uh, signal to drive the inverter. Right, uh, so uh, this is another method of actually doing it. Uh, I, I have another inverter which is uh, I was using previously uh, that I did with this and I was using actually a sine wave instead of a, a, a triangle wave. A triangle wave is best because it actually you can regulate it much easier. It's the best signal. The sine wave because it is smooth on the top. Uh, sometimes it actually uh, misbehaves. But uh, yeah, my design is sine wave. So this is how you can do it. Um, I think, yeah, instead of using an IC like this, you can actually use the other method uh, thank you and as always feedback gmail.com thank you very much enjoy your electronics